Everybody, it's Victor. It's time for another Eden Run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit. No random run day today just because I felt like playing Eden. And I'm feeling good because I did get a pretty good amount of sleep. So I'm very happy about that. And also, I'm very happy about everyone's meme of the day today because it is a banger sent in here by, I'm going to say, Theria or it might be Thyria MC. Title thread was trade offer. This one actually made me laugh pretty hard just because like, it's so dark but also so funny. Trade offer, trade offer. I received 20 coins. You receive this fortune. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know why this one was so good. So thank you very much, Theria or Thyria. I apologize if I'm, if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, and also remember, if you have any memes of the day or maybe some cool artwork of the day or some fan art, you can post them on the Sinvicta subreddit as well as on the Sinvicta Discord, the Moshpit Discord. It's a great place to be. It's filled with lots of good people. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of good times over there. Oh my goodness, this spoon bender. See, today's going to be November Delta 6, November uh, Romeo 30Y, also known as Yankee. I have a little gish here. Oh man, this I just now, I was so excited about looking at our at our spoon bender start, and then I saw our tears and our movement speed. Holy moly, okay. All right, we got ourselves some work to do. Um, so our tears rate is 1.85. Good. Um, movement speed 0.89. Good. We're also starting off with flush, which is not necessarily a great item. Um, I mean, it's a it's a full room execute, which is kind of nice. You can't use it in boss rooms or anything, but I mean, or unless you're fighting Brownie, of course, or Dingle, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our donation machine took a little bit of a ding the other day but uh yeah i got some i got some good sleep um i was able to get some new prescriptions uh or a new prescription i should say from the doctor which is awesome and uh, it seemed to help it really did uh, so i'm super stoked for that and uh, again thank you for the for all the understanding um you know i don't i don't proclaim to be like you know someone who just expects people to be like super supportive of of anything and everything going on but the mosh pit is of course very legendary for you know, just being a very a kind and loving community and you know i'm very happy to I'm very happy to be surrounded by the people that i am and uh you know everyone's 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 just cool man most everyone's just cool not everyone but uh, you're, you're always gonna have that kind of stuff so um i'm gonna drop samson's lock here for petrified poop just because it is going to be more value in the early going here especially if we're gonna be we're gonna be on the we're gonna be on the early floors for quite a while yeah i don't feel like doing this room there you go. So, and as you see here, we get a little bit of use out of. It's a little. It's a. It's a little. A little synergy between uh, petrified poop as well as uh, flush. I did walk out and walk back in just because fighting that haunt with all these rocks is just going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, but what you can do is because we have petrified poop, we can use it to basically get the poop piles away from uh, that we that we kill from um, uh, from executing enemies, and then those can possibly turn into pickups and that sort of thing. So it's pretty neat. But yeah, Petrified Poop is just going to be so much better. I mean, even though we need damage, like, uh, the little bit of damage that, that Samson's Lock is going to give us is not, and I mean not, going to make a difference this early on. Um, especially with this tiers rate. Uh, 1.85 is about as bad as it can get. I mean, this is, this is like levels of we took Polyphemus and we had like a 3.0 tier delay. Like 1.85, we, we have all the downsides of Polyphemus and none of the good sides. We have no damage, no piercing shots, no nothing. And the only reason why I'm using Polyphemus in this ex example is just because of the fact that like it kills your tears rate. Or think of it this way, like if you really want to, think of it like Eve's Mascara. How many times have we seen, have we seen Eve's Mascara just totally brick our tears rate? And uh, yeah, we, we're going to need some help. Before we go any further on this run, we'll go over to last week's question of the episode because this is going to be a pretty long floor here. Uh, it was the uh, Magic Road uh, episode, which uh, Alex did a fantastic job at interpreting what I was asking him to do. And essentially, um, uh, it, I told him, I basically was like, hey, I showed him like a really trippy like poster of like, you know, one of those like psychedelic black light posters. I was like, do that. And he was like, see. And I was like, see. Then we high-fived again. Um, 
But I simply asked, uh, I asked, uh, what is your take on Magic Mush? What do you think of its rarity? Do you think it's do you think it's too rare? Do you think it's too common? Do you think it's just right? Post them in the comments down below. And the most upvoted comment came in from Psychic Potato three six eight seven, who said, "I believe Magic Mush is one of those when you know you know items. Those items, uh, if you those being items where if you get them, you know it's going to be a good time. And yeah, I mean, much like I was talking about Sacred Heart the other day, if you see if you see Magic Mush, you take Magic Mush. That is that is just what you do." You don't question it. You just take it. Um, and, you know, I think that with the rarity of Magic Mush getting nerfed in Repentance, much like a lot of things, uh, it it's counter... I I'll preface this by saying I don't think... Ooh. Interesting. Uh, Nod Leaf is not what I want, but having the reroll pedestal is. Oh, baby. We get Pyromaniac, which is going to give us Explosion Immunity, the ability to heal uh, off of uh, off of bombs, but also it allows us to get five extra bombs here as well. So yeah, Pyro Pyromaniac, Pyromaniac, brother! It uh, it opens up some some doors for us. Uh, but yeah, I want to preface by saying that like I don't, I'm not in any way, shape, or form advocating the fact that I think Magic Mush's rarity is good because I don't. I miss the old Magic Mush rarity. That being said, with it being so rare these days, after the change in Repentance, uh, to remove it from like certain item pools, um, it does make getting Magic Mush more special. Now, whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't know. I mean, that that's like that's kind of like seeing like the silver lining on the on the punch bowl of, of, that has like you know four turds in it. But I don't know why it's, I don't know why a punch bowl would have silver lining. And maybe you're I don't know I don't know what kind of fancy punch bowls y'all be y'all's be drinking from. I don't know. I ain't fancy like y'all. Anyway. Anyway, thank you for our second potato. The next most upvoted comment came in from Trashmand, who said, please, Edmund McVillain, put Magic Mush back in the boss room, please, in all caps. And, uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was talking about. Um, you know, I don't... I personally feel that it's still too rare, being such a, such a clutch and just goaded item. Um, but it does make it... It does make it a little bit more special, actually a lot, a lot a bit more special when it does show up because thankfully, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to get taken care of this run. I don't know if I've ever lost a run playing with Magic Mush. I've lost the runs as, I've lost runs as Guppy. I've lost runs with Brimstone. I don't think I've ever lost with Sacred Heart, but Magic Mush, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it's just that good. Like, I mean, even if you don't need the damage multiplier or like if you already previously have one. You still take Magic Mush. You see it, you take it, you love it. That's just what you do. So, and then last but not least, we had Ronnie J. Uh, Ronnie J02. Excuse me, Ronnie. One second. I've got to get through this joker of a room here. The dangers in here are the Leapers and the, and the Demon Fires. Uh, Ronnie said, definitely feels better being more rare. And afterward, plus kept showing up as boss items made runs trivial. And uh, now that's more aligned with Cricket's head needs mascara in the item room. And yeah, literally what I was just I was just talking about. Uh, great minds think alike. Thank you very much, Ronnie. Yeah, it, it's. I don't. I personally. I mean, obviously, I'm always gonna go. I'm always gonna opt for something that makes me more powerful and has and gives us more fun, right? Um. But you know, I think that there, to a certain extent, there is a point where like it is a little bit too common for some people. They want to challenge, and that's fine. But to those people, I say, if you want a challenge, then just just don't pick it up. <laughs> hey, we get a unique interaction here. We can flush Dingle. Get him out of here. Down goes Dingle. Easy peasy. That's about the only good use of flush. Well, no, let's let's not be disingenuous. Flush, flush has been doing work for us, but yeah, we need some tears right in a bad way, and this is not going to fix that. Um. I guess I'll take Bloody Lust. It's not... It's not the perfect solution because obviously, like, we don't gain any tears or anything out of it, but it's... It gives us damage, so if we take damage, that's the thing. Uh, Secret Room is here, for sure. Well, just in time for the glitched chaos run here. Um, even though we didn't hit the like streak, the, I mean, you know, the, with the like streak, I probably should have blown up the, the Forge Town Machine. That was a little bit of a, a bit of a goof. 
little bit of a goof. I guess I didn't know it was going to be a fortune telling machine, but there you go. Oh, he knew. He knew. He knew. He said it was going to be a fortune telling machine. No one could guess that. I was thinking of the meme of the day. Um, we need to get a key, obviously, but, uh, but yeah, on the weekends, you know, the like streak, it does, it does tend to fall off on, especially on Sundays, uh, which is the reason why, like I was doing random run days for a while there. And I, and I still do occasionally, it's just not like a set day anymore. Um, and that's just because, you know, people, people really, really love watching Eden. Um, and I like playing Eden. I mean, it's obviously been the bread and butter for a while now. Um, but to switch it up every now and then, you know, I'm, I'm definitely down for it. I'm not going to gamble here. Definitely want to take Glitch Crown. Glitch Crown, of course, is going to now make multi-pedestals happen. And it's going to flip through five or six items. Um, yeah, five items. And uh, Glitch Crown, it can be pretty amazing. It can also be pretty annoying. We'll talk about it in a moment. Here's some crackling there. That was my that was my water bottle. Just taking a swig. So glitch crown, glitch crown. It will it will give you the multi pedestals, like I said, um, and it flips very very fast. You all have seen it many times, but in case if you haven't, it it basically is like five d sixes. It's like five d six rolls per item pedestal. The danger of glitch crown is that it it, it exhausts very quickly. I might add you. Uh, it exhausts the item pool that you're in very, very, very quickly. So, you know, in a weird way, in a weird way, it's kind of like playing Tainted Isaac in the sense that, like, you're only going to get a limited amount of items per run. And Glitch Crown, if you see too many item pedestals, you're eventually going to get breakfasted really, 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 really fast. And what that means is that there's no more items that, to, to go through anymore, and you're just going to see breakfast over and over and over again. So, you know, you have to be... And the reason why I equate that to playing... to being like uh, Tainted Isaac is that you have to be very selective about which items you pick off of the pedestals. So, it, in a way, it's a blessing and a curse. It's kind of blurst. We we cannot afford any more shot speed down or range down. We really cannot. I think Dead Onion is a is a bad move here. I'm gonna go for Boom, which gives us ten bombs. Some people may have said mini chest, but honestly, the last couple of times we've had mini chests, it's just giving us nothing. It's been giving us nothing but troll bombs. I kind of kind of hate it. The reason, another reason why I pass up on Dead Onion here is because I, with us having Glitch Crown now, the odds of us of getting something like, say, uh, just a, a far superior item, uh, which is similar, would be Eye of Belial. The odds of us getting Eye of Belial are much, much higher with Glitch Crown. So I would rather pass on the guaranteed, you know, range and and shot speed down, and see if we can. If we're gonna get, if we're going to get piercing shots, let's get some good freaking piercing shots. Let's get, let's get Eye of Isle. Um, I think that that is a, that's a, it, it's a gamble for sure because obviously, like, we're not guaranteed to get it, but it's a, it's in my mind, it's sound logic. Um, you know, it, it's it's sort of like you know, well, let's let's let it ride and let's see. Because I don't want to artificially gimp our... I, I, I don't want to destroy our DPS. Only for us to get something that's just... That's essentially the same thing, but way better. You know, Eye of Elio is just far superior to Dead Onion. Far superior. It does everything that Dead Onion does, and a whole lot more. So we get restock here. We already have Steam Sale, but PHD is, like, real good. And we need the pills. Hopefully, we get a tears up here. We do get range, which. Uh, uh, we get the full card. So at least PH Dizzle is going to allow us to take uh, take pills. And 
I do not feel like doing that room with this with this level of DPS. The two soul hearts really helps us out because now this kind of opens up the possibility of us taking this devil deal and uh, and getting something major out of it. If we get a devil deal, obviously. Okay, Headless Horseman is not what we wanted to see. Although I would, admittedly, I would take the I would take the Headless Horseman's horse just to get rid of the flush. Um, so we have movement speed and flying. But thankfully, with Glitch Crown, we're going to at least be able to not get a guaranteed static drop, and that's really really strong because obviously. Now with Glitch Crown, we have a much better shot at getting what we need for stats, as in getting like you know some some tiers upgrade. We need it. We need a tiers upgrade like nobody business right now. It's a little bit weird that the shot came out after he uh, after he did the animation. A little delayed there. I think it was because it interacted with Gish. Obviously, we're gonna go for Stapler Stapler here. Barely, we just barely got that one. Guppy's eye, Guppy's hairball. None of these a perfect solution, but Guppy's eye will at least let us know which chests that we do or do not want to open. So, and now that we have that, we need to go back into the curse room and uh, figure out if there is an item in there. At least we have a good shot of it being another Guppy item. Or a solid Devil Deal item that we, like, really, really need. And there's pills. Okay. Pills could be good. Experimental pill. We need tears. Yes. We got luck up. Nice. Okay. 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 We're, we're, everything's everything's starting to come together. Let, let's, not get, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But we've been making some big-time plays. And, uh, you know, I think that... I think we're, we're doing all the right things. Really. I would have bet the house that the super secret room was there. Super secret room, and we get a lot of full charges. Okay, this we're we're still we're we're making it. We we are slowly but surely making it through this run. Checking for tented rocks in here. Sometimes, sometimes the the entrance down to mines does have a it, it has a fair bit of of rocks and sometimes full gold, but not this time. An arcade here, and uh, you know we are highly motivated to play both of these, but I'm not willing to give up a lot of HP for the devil for the um, demon judgment right now. Obviously, with Glitch Crown, this changes a lot of things, though. Yeah, we want the body here. The body is going to give us three HP, and now we can play the, the Demon Judgment. And also, of course, proc uh, Bloody Lust. Oh my, good lord! Okay, well, I mean, if our shots, if our tears rate is going to be in the toilet, we might as well take multi shots here. And again, because we know that we've got, we have Glitch Crown, we can, we have a higher than usual shot at getting. 2020. I just sat there and watched that shot hit me. I was like, Coach Crendor messaged me something. I'm not sure what he said. I'm ignoring it right now. Two hearts. It doubles our HP. Well, it doubles the amount of red hearts that we have. Um, so if we if we have one red heart, it can heal us for two red hearts. If we have one and a half red hearts currently, it will heal us for three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A quad shot. Quad Shot Spoonbender is absolutely insane. Um, it gives you almost an automatic focus fire on single targets. And we, we have to go SM. I mean, I would love to go for Anima Solo, but SMB Superfan is a must-have here. It gives us a true all stats up. We really, really need it. It does give us a tears up, even though it's not phenomenal. Um, it's something. And you know, I gotta say, I I, I mean this in, since I mean this sincerely. Is you know, flush this whole flush combo that we've got going on 
is great with petrified poop and take keeper sack here and then i think we go for we, we pretty much have to go for pandora's box as that's going to give us one boss item or we can wait until womb womb one but yeah one boss item plus two soul hearts yeah seven cents There's no reroll pedestal anywhere, so I'm mean, gonna just use this here. Yeah. <laughs> rigged, rigged, rigged. <laughs> Life imitating, not art, but I mean, it, it's imitating what we were talking about last last week as well. Magic must showing up. Of course, magic must shows up. Rigged. <laughs> Oh, mama. Okay, now we're cooking. We even get a tears up. Let's go. Although we have we have quad shot, so it kind of kills our kills our tears by quite a lot. But again, if we get twenty twenty, then we don't. They're all bets are off at that point. Yeah, this is a this is a lot of damage that we're firing. Uh. We're okay on speed, actually. I'm going to go for Synth Oil here. I'm going to start working on Spun. Go back and get one of those Soul Hearts. We could... We could and should, actually, play the uh, the Temperance Machine. Like, we're not going to make Boss Rush. Like, just forget about Boss Rush. We it, it took us a long time to get to where we are right now. Uh, but because we have so much health... And so much potential here with you can get taken to the devil deal via this chest so notice how this this red chest right here is blank despite us having guppy's eye this means that it is a teleport chest to take us to the devil deal oh man so we get Athame or Horror Babylon or Spear of the Night. I think I'm also going to go Spear of the Night just for the flying and Spectral Tears. And then here, obviously, we're going to go Little Horn. There we go. And before you say anything, before you say anything, yes. I know that it is possible to do this or to do this and pause the game uh, with uh, Glitch Crown and uh, make it to where you guarantee get a certain item. Obviously, I don't like doing that. And I'm, I'm not gonna judge you if you do. You, again, Isaac is a game, you can do whatever you want. You can you, you can play the game however the heck you want. Your boy ain't gonna judge, okay? It's just not for me. I, I, don't, I don't wanna play like that. So, but I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there now because every every single time we get glitch crowned and like say I miss like an item or something like that, inevitably someone in YouTube is like, hey, did you know that you can just pause the game and get the guaranteed item you want? Yes, I do. Just play it, play the game however you want. If you if you want to do that, hey, go for it. I ain't gonna judge. If you wanna if you wanna spawn things in or use mods or anything like that to help with achievements, hey, go for it. I, I ain't gonna blame you. Some of the achievements are really annoying and dumb. Um But I don't like doing that. Um I'm gonna take Cricket's body here. Obviously it is going to give us splash shots, splash damage, and also of course it's going to remove uh, the tears cap not remove it, but it's gonna raise it pretty significantly and Of course having cricket's body with uh, With spoon bender is absolutely massive because all the all the shrapnel shots the fractal tears that spawn After impacting their primary target is going to they're all going to be homing So you get even more value more bang for your buck per shot than usual Obviously, Spear of the Night helping out a whole lot right here. Right in here, right in here. 
y'all gonna really help my tears right in here right in here oh dmx i was never a huge fan of dmx like he had a couple of really good songs um the rough riders theme is of course incredible um x gonna give it to you i mean you know the overplayed classics up in here you know um what what was what was the other one the uh Oh, get it on the floor. Get on, get it on the floor was like was such a surprising, surprising track from from DMX. Cause like it wasn't like its normal, like it, it wasn't his usual style. It was more poppy, and when it when that song first came out, like it threw me off. I was like, this this sounds more like Luda than any than anybody. Uh, gonna go humbling bundle here. Gonna pass on. I would have bought this pill because I I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember what our tears up was. I think it was I think it was black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, but I've been I've been listening to a lot of hip hop lately. We go nine volt. Probably should have bought the coupon first, or we could go nun's habit. I'm gonna go never mind. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, say, I was gonna go coupon, but uh then we don't have enough money, and then we accidentally bought the soul heart which is fine i mean you know buying a soul heart uh but yeah i mean like dmx has he has a couple of tracks that like i, I really dig and some other tracks that like, are just like eh. but I'm, ah, that's what i get for not for not being attentive enough we got d bizzle d bizzle or goat head I do like the idea of just getting nothing but guaranteed uh, devil deals and Abba Dabba Ding Dong. I actually think Brimstone is bad here. That's right. All right, your boy willingly passed up Brimstone. I think with Cricket's Body, legit. Cricket's Body plus Spoonbender is legitimately better than Brimstone here. And this is this isn't a bit or anything. Like I I truly think that our damage potential is much higher with what we have right now than with Brimstone. Uh, I don't want to take D1 Hizzle. I think we just go regular, plain old HP upgrade. Sorry, little monstro. We want to play the Judgment here again with Glitch Crown. It just gives so much value to every single item pedestal out there. If you're good at your timing and you can get what you want. Oh. oh man, D6 or Holy Mantle. I honestly think the D6 is better for us. We're gonna take experimental treatment. It gave us spun, but it gives the tears down, of course. Okay, so we say thank you to Flush. Honestly, Flush did a phenomenal job for us. Like, it it, it knocked it out of the park for us. Um, we can go get Nun's Habit or the coupon, but now, now obviously, the that's not, like, really all that appealing because we have the D-Sizzle. The coupon, I mean, not, not, not Nun's Habit. We could also just roll for something new, and I think that that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. What is this, Bill? Help out. Ooh. Four and a half volt with this combo is pretty tasty. Okay, so we don't we didn't get nuns habit, but we got something even better. And apologies if you heard crackling. <clears throat> It's starting to turn out to be a very powerful run here, mostly in part thanks to uh, some magic mush. And actually, you know, I say that, but let's not let's not invalidate the value of Glitch Crown here, because without Glitch Crown, we wouldn't have gotten Magic Mush. So, like, without Glitch Crown, this run is not what you see right now. <laughs> right there you just saw what I was talking about one shot 
on greed and every single one of those of those shrapnel shots of the aoe splash damage shots that that erupted after we hit it with uh we hit greed with uh cricket's body every single one of those shots returned back to the original and only target in the room and and, and literally one shot them so you know that right there is what i'm talking about when i was the reason why that i did not take brimstone Brimstone is still my favorite. Sizzy! How you doing, little sissy? Little sissy. No way we're passing that up. Um, Brimstone is still my favorite, my favorite item in Isaac. Period. Point blank. That will probably never change. Um, but it's not an automatic take for me, especially after the nerf and repentance. And while, yes, we would still be super powerful, um, for sure, in this run with it, I think that we're even more powerful without it. I mean, to take that one of the compass, obviously. And now we're going to take chaos and miss that, too, because I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on tilt right now. Get the nightlight. It's not a good item. So this is literally just the glitch chaos like like streak coming up, except everything is not blind, thankfully. All right, let's see. We definitely want some Victor robes if we can get them. That's what my confidence is shaken in my ability to actually get items here. The backstabber is absolutely massive here, with us having Spoonbender Cricket's body. Yeah. Earlier this week on stream, I did a um, a friend bikini bikini body. He uh, he wants me to do he wants me to do for a like streak this challenge where it's just Ludovico death list and that's it. Um, you're not allowed to take any items. You're not allowed to take any items that alter Ludovico in any way, shape, or form. You're not like so no tier effects. You're not allowed to take any items that spawn spiders or flies. Um, you can only take items that do neither of those. And also, um, you must try your best to complete death's list in every single room. And one of the, he, he was watching at the time, and one of the items that popped up was Backstabber. And he didn't realize how goaded Backstabber is with Ludovico. Like if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get a terrible item like Ludovico, then you're gonna try to get as many, I mean, as many good tier effects as you can. And I know I just got done saying that like, you know, he was like no tier effects, but I asked him, he was watching and he permitted me to take backstabber because he didn't think it was a big deal. And oh baby, oh baby. He, uh, <laughs> he very quickly realized how much of a mistake that was. I mean, like my damage was pretty good because my tears rate was, was very good thanks to death's list, but uh, backstabber just took it to a totally different level and that's what you're that's what you're gonna be seeing on this with this combo here is backstabber basically always activating because the spoon bender full clear by the way and uh, that combined with cricket's body means that we're always going to be hitting and getting hit apparently I still have the strength card for a devil deal but oh my gosh yeah, that's real strong. We want Twisted Pair here. There's nine lives, so we're definitely going to take nine lives here. I'm going to use the Strength card. And then we really don't need anything off of this pedestal, so I'm going to re-roll it. And we get Gubby's Paw. Oh, baby. We could still get a full charge with uh, the D-Sizzle here. Actually, no, we can't. We did a full clear. Never mind. Don't listen to me.
Curse of Darkness it gets canceled out by Nightlight, so we don't care about that. I'm going to leave that full charge there just in case we need it for the D6. Same thing goes for these mini charges. We're going to just leave them for the possibility of us needing a, a reroll. But Backstabber here is just too, too good not to take. And I really do truly believe that Backstabber is one of the premier, if not the best, hard carry support item in the game. Now, I, I, consider, I consider it a carry support item and not a carry item because it does, in my mind, Backstabber is just a better, it's good by itself. No one's going to argue with that, but you really need some kind of tier effect, either piercing shots or pseudo piercing or like something like spoon bender. You really, really need a tier effect like that for it to shine. And when you get it, that's when it takes over. So that's what I call a hard carry support item. Another full clear, by the way. LOL, LOL, LOL. High five, high five, no cap, FR, FR on God. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of a lot of hip hop lately. Um, Experimental build. And uh, every time, every time I hear, <laughs> the clown show in here. Um, every time I hear certain songs, it just it it always just teleports me back. Doesn't matter what genre it is. Yes, growth hormones. I mean, we could take blue cap, but we, we've we already got spun, and our damage is insane. I'll take blue cap just for the HP and also for the little tears up we get. The other day, I heard a song on... It was... It may have been... It may have been when I was, I was doing stuff, and... Um, may have been on my on my computer one of my playlists anyway um i heard uh, stutter by joe mystical and uh, that like just hearing that song instantly instantly took me back to when i first heard it and it you know it reminds you of like all this stuff from way back in the day and it also reminds you how good of a song it is <laughs> For me, for me anyway, like it's not, I wouldn't necessarily call it, I guess it is kind of hip hop in a way. Like that, that's the thing with, when it comes to music, I really dislike, I really dislike what's like, well, actually that's not the uh, heavy metal. It's actually a uh, hardcore farmer death hay metal. Like, okay, dude, like, like shut up. Just, how, about, how about you just shut up about that? Uh, I'm not going to take either one yet because I want to go play the sack room. And also, this will allow us to go to a shoal and uh, wrap up the super powerful run. But yeah. Anyway, I was listening to I was listening to that song when it came on, and I was just like, man, I forgot how much of a banger this song is. If you haven't heard "Stutter" by Joe, listen listen to it, because <laughs> it is a certified banger and a half. Grab this. Okay, now we go over here. We're gonna take our Devil Dew items. Remember, we have Goat Head. That's the reason why I was able to get out of there. The Incubus, and here we take the tears up from Ouija board. Oh no, we died. Oh no. Yeah, Stutter. S S T U T T E R by Joe, featuring Mystical. Song is just a just a straight up banger. Oh, we could get Team Carry Cat again, but Lusty Blood's pretty big here. Also, Libra. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. And use the D six here. <laughs> uh, we gotta go Capricorn. Actually, what we should do is we should take... No, we, we I don't want Tech X. We don't have soy milk. It's not going to fire by itself. And poly... 
or proptosis is tempting but with libra having capricorn here is just too good not to have yeah that's uh pretty strong pretty strong libra's still good y'all i don't know how many times i gotta keep telling people this but libra is still still great totally canceled out the tears down from uh from the uh from quad shot let's get some let's get some hp just just in case we end up going to fight delirium which i totally would do i'm, I'm not gonna do a victory lap but if we get to delirium portal i will do it because let me tell you something delirium i mean there there ain't no boss that's gonna be able to, to hang with us i'm just gonna be on totally real with you at this point with this amount of damage we are uh we are absolutely crushing it what are some other like late 90s early 2000s r&b hip-hop hits that i'm really a big fan of i think this one's a little bit later but uh there's a there's a track called my girl by frankie J, and uh that guy from Big Timers, I don't remember his name. That song is a, is a certified banger. Um, I mean, not anything by Ludacris, but a lot of stuff by Ludacris I'm a big fan of. But still, the ultimate hype track, the the goaded hype track for me, if I, if I was... If I was to... If I, if I, like, if I was a professional wrestler and they were like, okay, you can use whatever track you want. It just can't be metal. You can't play metal or anything like that. Then I'm instantly going, I'm instantly going to Top's Drop by Fat Pat. I talked about that, about that song a little while ago and people, people were going to like the official, uh, the official, uh, music video for that, which was, which was shot by the way, after Fat Pat's death. Um, and, uh, people were leaving comments like Sinvicta sent me here, but I thought that was pretty funny. Definitely. If you, if you've not listened to top straw by fat Pat, oh, you need to like stop the video and go listen to it right now. Cause when the beat kicks in, like it's got such a perfect, a masterful beat, like, like masterful setup to when the beat drops for the song, it, it is, it is a masterpiece masterpiece of hip-hop we did get a delirium portal oh baby go back and get no we don't need d6 let's just let's just let's embarrass delirium just get a bunch of hp and specifically i'm talking about the beat that kicks in when when pat says welcome to the land where it just don't stop yeah yeah, if that doesn't get you nodding your head, I don't know. You, I don't know what will. You, you got, you got something. You got a screw loose or two or something. I mean, I, like I can, like I, I'm listening to it in my head right now, and I'm nodding my head. <laughs> like it's just, it's, it's such a masterpiece of hip hop. It really is. I love rap. I love hip hop. I love. I mean, I love most music. Not all music. Not a fan of classic rock. I know that might surprise a lot of people. It it's not going to surprise most people because I've talked about it like a zillion times at this point. Not a fan of classic rock. Not a fan of uh, <coughs> most country songs. Um, not. I'm not a. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like, of like black metal or, like, like whatever whatever the metal is where it's just you can't understand like. Like metal with like pig vocals. I, I just I can't Yeah, you, know, you know you know which ones I'm talking about. It's the it's the bands that sound like they have like squealing pigs as a vocalist. I, I just can't I can't get into them. I really can't. Or like ultra cookie monster vocals. Like I can't I just can't do it either. So I don't like all types of metal. Like there's a lot of metal where I'm just like, um eh, it's not for me. Oh man, Texas Hero. Hopefully we don't crash the game. 
And by classic rock, I mean, I mean like ACDC. I, don't even get me started on ACDC. I, my hatred of that band is very well known. You know, I, they're, they're talented. They're, they're talented musicians. Sure. I, you know, you have to be, to be a, a, you know, rock and roll hall of fame, uh, band. But my God, I cannot stand what's his name's voice at all. Uh, like I don't like guns and roses. I don't, I, I strongly dislike Aerosmith. It's not, a, it's not a fan, you know? What I am a fan of is this run and how it went, though. So, wow. Super powerful at the end. Shout out to Libra, but mostly thanks to Glitch Crown. Remember, everyone, if you want to see the Glitch Chaos run, which is going to be us having Chaos plus Glitch Crown plus all blind items, let me know in the comments down below. And also, by let me know by clicking that like button. If this video gets over 3,000 likes, it goes on the like street counter. And once we get to 210, we will be doing the Glitch Chaos run, which is going to be absolute insanity your question of the episode is going to be what is your take on glitch crown do you use the exploit where you pause the game do you not do you just let it ride what are your thoughts on that post them in the comments down below have a great sunday and as always i'll see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video like thanks to patrons of mine like paradoxes blackheart and charleston if you'd like to have your name read at the end of an isaac episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find over at patreon dot com slash Invicta.